Hey guys, this is Paracord Geek. I'm here today today to show you guys how to make the Paracord box knot key fob. Um, now, when it's done, it's gonna look something like this. Um, so, the supplies you're gonna need to make this uh, key fob is gonna be a lighter, something to rub excess paracord onto, a cutting utensil, tape measure. And then, of course, paracord. Now, I'm not going to be using the tape measure in this video because I've already cut out my paracord to a certain length, um, which should be about three feet. It doesn't have to be exactly. It's got to be close to three feet if you want to make a decent size uh, key fob. Like, see, just compare it to my finger. It's about finger length long. So, let's get started. So, um... I'm going to put all this stuff aside because we're not going to need that as of now. Alright. So, take one of your pieces of paracord and lay it sideways like this. And then, I know it's kind of off screen, but you don't really need to see that part. You only need to see the central area right here. So now that you have your two pieces of paracord crossed, you're going to take... Oh, and also make sure that this middle one going straight up and down vertical is on top of this, because that's very important. So you're going to take the horizontal one and then go loop it in the middle like that, and take the other one like that. And then make sure as if everything's left. So this is left, that is left. All right, and then you're going to take this and then go over this one. And again, go left, so left on here. And then pull that over there. Now the first knot's going to be the hardest knot because you really don't have anything to build off of. And then you're going to take this one, go over the first one like that. And then... You're just going to pull it tight. So. And then try to hold it together. Sorry about the barking of my dog. So. She's crazy. Just keep pulling that tight tighter and tighter until you should get something like this and then once you're here pull this there should be one little strand on the bottom side and then you're just gonna pull that like so and you can adjust it to any length this is just gonna be your uh, your way to hook it on to something, like your keychain, whatever you want to hook it on to. So once it's there, like that, alright. Now you're going to go back to here. And then you're going to do the same thing. So, now this time it's going to be right though, instead of left. So right, and then right. Now you can do it from all different angles, as long as you do the same as what's underneath it. So just look underneath and make sure you're doing the same pattern as what you've got under there. Just, you gotta pull it all tight. And then make sure that's all good. Pull it tight. And then it should start to get a little easier once, you, uh, once you've got this knot and then you've got your little loop up here done. So you've got that. Now you're going to do the same thing again. 
this one's going to be left. So you're basically just going back and forth between right and left. Now this one's actually left. Pull it tight. And tight. Like that. But you just have to watch what's underneath there and just make it the same as the bottom. And then over. Over. And over there. So just the same pattern over and over. Keep tightening it. Just like every other weave, it's very monotonous, but pretty much just like every other weave as well, they all look really awesome. <laughs> so you're going to keep doing that all the way until you get just to about here. So I already finished it, but basically all you're going to do is just you're going to get your lighter. And then just get it on. And then just burn burn each of these. And make sure you cut each of these the extras to about less than a quarter of an inch away uh, from the box nut lanyard. And then just burn them. And then just dab them onto here. It's super simple. Um, so... Thank you for watching, um, and then check out my channel. I've got some pretty cool other paracord videos on there, and uh, see.